though we are still in just the first window of the second round of the 2019 FIBA World Cup Asian qualifiers, Smart Heal as Pilipinas is already in do or die mode. Seven games in, the Philippine men's national basketball team is situated with a 4 3 record, good for third in Group F. However, Coach Yang Giao and his staff will be monitoring two games on a nightly basis as Japan is just a game behind with a 3-4 record. On Monday night, Hilas takes on the lowly Qatar at home, while the Akatsuki 5 hosts group leaders Iran. However, the Philippines' home game will not feel like one at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Silent Night. For the first time in the qualifiers, a game will be held behind closed doors, one of the punishments the International Basketball Federation imposed on Heal is stemming from the brawl that occurred in the Philippine Arena last July 2. And it's something that the injury ridden Qatar squad looks to take advantage of. I've coached teams where we played in gyms with not many fans. Here, you don't expect that though, especially when you're playing against Heelas, said Qatar head coach Tim Lewis, who has faced off against the Philippines numerous times in the SIBA. For Giao, it's going to be a challenge for the players to pump themselves up as there will be no sixth man to cheer them on. Yes, you have to visualize it already this early, na Tahimak, na Walang Magji cheer Sayo. No, you cannot look for that hometown crowd that will energize you and encourage you. That's going to have to come from themselves, the affable tactician said. It's the first time that we are going to play in an environment such as that, but you also have to prepare yourselves mentally, Kasi first time Mong Makakita Young Ganon. But I've already more or less briefed them and asked them to visualize it and prepare themselves for such an occasion where you're playing in an empty stadium, he added. Reinforcements. Though we are still in just the first window of the second round of the 2019 FIBA World Cup Asian qualifiers, Smart Heal as Pilipinas is already in do or die mode. Seven games in, the Philippine men's national basketball team is situated with a 4-3 record, good for third in Group F. However, Coach Yang Giao and his staff will be monitoring two games on a nightly basis as Japan is just a game behind with a 3-4 record. On Monday night, Hilas takes on the lowly Qatar at home, while the Akatsuki 5 hosts group leaders Iran. However, the Philippines' home game will not feel like one at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Silent Nighty Breaker Times Smart Inside Scoop, Do or Die for Heal as 2019 FIBA World Cup Qualifiers Basketball Heal as Pilipinas News Yang Giao Qatar, Basketball, Heal as Elite 2019 FIBA World Cup Qualifiers. For the first time in the qualifiers, a game will be held behind closed doors, one of the punishments the International Basketball Federation imposed on Heal is stemming from the brawl that occurred in the Philippine Arena last July 2. And it's something that the injury-ridden Qatar squad looks to take advantage of. I've coached teams where we played in gyms with not many fans. Here, you don't expect that though, especially when you're playing against Heelas, said Qatar head coach Tim Lewis, who has faced off against the Philippines numerous times in the SIBA. For Giao, it's going to be a challenge for the players to pump themselves up as there will be no sixth man to cheer them on. Yes, you have to visualize it already this early, na Tahimak, na Walang Magji cheer Sayo. No, you cannot look for that hometown crowd that will energize you and encourage you. That's going to have to come from themselves, the affable tactician said. It's the first time that we are going to play in an environment such as that, but you also have to prepare yourselves mentally, Kasi first time Mong Makakita Young Ganon. 
but I've already more or less briefed them and asked them to visualize it and prepare themselves for such an occasion where you're playing in an empty stadium, he added. Reinforcement Steve Breaker Times Smart Inside Scoop Do or Die for Heal as 2019 for the World Cup Qualifiers Basketball Heal as Pilipinas News Yangyao Qatar Basketball Heal as Elite 2019 for the World Cup Qualifiers If there's one glaring stat during Heal as Road Loss to Iran, it's the three point shooting. Prior to the game, the Philippines was shooting 31% from deep good for 10th among the 16 teams competing in the qualifiers. However, after going just 5 for 18 from downtown against Iran, the Philippines dropped to a horrid 12th. Fortunately for Hilas, a sniper Matthew Wright will come back in this game. Wright is shooting at a high 43. 8% clip from beyond the three-point arc. Also returning is Japeth Aguilar, a defensive presence that would have helped in stifling the slashers of Iran. We have Matthew right back and we have Japeth Aguilar back. So they missed the early games. Of course, Matthew is going to provide us an extra option on our shooting as a shooting weapon for this team, Giao said about right. We've had some problems with our outside shooting against Iran, so that's a welcome addition. Japeth Naaman adds the size and the length and the inside presence, just a defensive stopper and rim protector. We missed them, actually. We missed them early. If we could have had them earlier, maybe even in the Asian games, they would have helped us a lot, added Gao. Breaking away from the norm of fielding a big man for the naturalized player spot, Giao also called up Stanley Pringle for active duty. Stanley also brings a lot to the game. He creates a lot of situations for his teammates. He can score, he can defend, he can pass. So we'll miss Christian, but Stanley just gives us another dimension, shared Giao. No mercy.as mentioned earlier, Qatar will enter the game as a bruised and battered squad. Six players are injured from the team, including big men Clinton Johnson and Irfan Ali Saeed, and floor generals Mansur El Hadari and Abdulrahman Saad. With their backs against the wall, however, smart healers could not show any compassion to their Qatari counterparts as every game from here on out is a must win for the Philippines. Qatar has yet to win against healers since 2009. We don't want to focus on those weaknesses of Qatar. We want to focus on what the rest of the team can do and be able to prepare for that and be ready for that. They still have weapons. There are still four or five guys in this team that can hurt us. So if we are overconfident or if we take them for granted, this team can still hurt us and they're still very dangerous, Giao said.